hey guys good morning morning everyone joyfully here welcome back to my channel guys i hope everyone is doing well hope you all are staying blessed staying in the word staying encouraged staying hydrated because it's kind of hot but you know this morning guys i wanted to just stop by and say good morning and just you know talk about something that's you know that's heavy in my spirit what's heavy in my spirit this morning is the changes anybody has recognized how how really quick life is changing life has just transformed to the life that i know it has transformed transformed in the past maybe the past three four years like it's like a rapid transformation guys and i'm saying uh -uh. really god this is it and it's amazing because, you know, I'm reading the word. I have to spend time in the word. That's, that's you know, I have to sharp my sword. So when I, you know, when I'm reading the word and looking at life and everything that's happening, I say, okay. Because exactly what's in the Bible, that's exactly what I see playing out exactly in life right now. And I was so in awe because, of course, you know, guys, I did not know the Bible. I didn't understand the Bible. I would read, you know, a little scripture here and there, but I just couldn't understand it. So I had to ask the Lord. I said, God, you have to amplify my spirit of wisdom for me, please. Amplify my spirit of wisdom, spirit of knowledge, and spirit of understanding. Because I'm not understanding your word. And the Bible said, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. And that is the truth. I was perishing for so long because I didn't understand the word, even the commandments, guys. I saw the commandments. I looked at them, but that's it. I never paid them any mind. You know, you, you have them in the back of your mind because I had them in the back of my mind, but I didn't understand the real, real ramification of not go, following the commandments of God. Guys, it's very important, very, very important. We're not perfect. Well, I'm far from that. That far from that. So you, of course you will mess up. But the thing is, the ultimate thing is, as soon as you mess up, you go right back to the Holy Spirit. And say, God, I messed up. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Lord. Help me not to do it again. And of course you're going to do it again. You know, because but you know. But as long as it's not presumptuous, because we are going to sin. We were born in, sh in sin and shaped in iniquity. So we are going to sin. But what do you do when you sin? When you have sinned, what is your next move? Am I just going to just sin and just stay there and then go back tomorrow again and do the same, commit the same sin again? No, no, no. That, that's presumptuous. No, Joy. That's too much. Right? So when I recognize and realize that, Oh, my word. So these commandments are really, really true. I really, really need to follow them. People, life ain't no joke. Life is no joke. There are mysteries in this life that we need to find out. Mysteries. There are mysteries to the kingdom of God. There are keys. We have to know the keys. To the kingdom what are the keys what are the mysteries what are the mysteries to my life because i have lots of issues and i have to keep going to the lord so lord this and what is this and what is that and what should i do about this what should i do about that and guys when his word said ask and you shall receive i am a living testament to that you have to pay attention. Pay attention to the word. Pay attention to the voice of God. He speaks to us. You know when you want to do something. And you know that little that little feeling in your in the pit of your stomach. I said, don't do it. Just a little, just it's a little nudge. It's not too hard, it's not too heavy, it's definitely not loud. But it's just that little urge that don't do it. That's the Holy Spirit. And a lot of time I used to just ignore it. I do. Mark, you know, I knew that. That one I really knew. Say, you weren't, you're not supposed to do that. But I used to ignore it. 
No, I cannot. But that's my guide. That is my guide in this life. The Bible says, study to show yourself approved. You will have to study the word of God. I have to study. When I know his word, it makes me stronger. The word of God said, they that know their God are strong. Say for example, fear guys, and I think I've spoken about this already. When I feel the spirit of fear, not that it won't come on, the spirit of fear will come. But as soon as that spirit start to come, I just start to speak the word. I start to speak the word. So that's why you have to saturate yourselves, guys. Saturate yourselves with the word. That's our sword. Because remember, guys, we are not wrestling with flesh and blood. Mm -mm. Principalities, rulers of the dark kingdom. So if I see somebody, say for example, I'm at, I'm at a job or I'm somewhere and I see somebody and that person is giving me a hard time. Of course, first time I used to be upset at the person. Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. My spiritual knowledge is heightened. So no, I don't, I don't, I don't even fuss with the person. Of course, my spirit, I, you know, my spirit will be upset a little, but I know there's a deeper problem. That person is just a tentacle. There's a spirit. That's guiding that person. Or there's a spirit trying to affect me using that person. That person is just a conduit. So it's all right. You're a problem? Not to worry. And I just start to pray about the spirit. Suppose it's a lying person who tell lies on you. You pray about the spirit of lying. So if it's a, it's a person just, you know, direct hate towards you, you pray about the spirit of hate because these are spirits. Remember, guys, we, are, we exist here with spirits and all spirits are looking for a body. They cannot function without a body. So whomever is available, they are going to, they are going to come for you. So if the spirit can use this one, a lot of times the spirits use our spouses, our children, our families. Pay attention, guys. Pay attention. Know what we're fighting against. Remember, we're in a spiritual war. It's not a physical war. So as I said, when you see somebody come at you physically, there's a greater force. Pay attention. Pay attention to our dreams. Our dreams are, that's our spirit life. Last night, me and my girlfriend, we were discussing this. The dream. You have to pay attention. The Bible said, while men slept, the enemy come and sowed tears among the wheat and went about its way. So while you're sleeping, that's when Satan come and form a covenant with you because you're unaware you're sleeping so you're sleeping and you dream like oh you you know you have a dead grandma you saw grandma i said oh i saw grandma last night and you hug grandma remember you hug grandma in the dream mm -mm, that was not grandma that was a spirit that was a familiar spirit that was a masquerading spirit just masquerade like grandma in order for you to forge a covenant Satan uses our ignorance against us, guys. Again, the Bible says ignorance is no excuse for the law. So while we are being ignorant, Satan is activating the law because he knows the law. He is very versed in the law. It is up to us to go and know the laws of life, know the laws of God, know our rights. So that's what I'm working on, guys. So I'm just giving you a little tidbit of, you know, just life. We have to change our outlook, our perspective. Spend time in the Word of God. That's it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how nice and rosy life looks. The Word of God. The Word. 
So when I see all these different changes and happenings and stuff, am I shocked? No, because I'm reading it. I am reading it, guys. It's amazing. God has given us so many chances and chances and chances. Let us make use of the chances. Pay attention, guys. Pay attention. Anyway, guys, that's just my little rambling for this morning. I had to stop by and share it. Because it's so, you know, life is just so interesting. When I see all the things that's happening. We have coronavirus, which is, that is dominating the world. Am I scared? Not really. Because I saw it in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? I just be, I try my best to be careful. Because as much as you know the word and you're going to speak the word, remember guys, prayer without work is dead. So if I'm going to speak the word against coronavirus and I'm going to go without my mask and, you know, not, you know, wash my hands properly and all of that, that's being stupid. Pay attention, people. Pay attention. Read the word. Open the Bible for yourself. Even if you don't know what you're reading, open it and say, God, amplify my spirit of wisdom. Ask him. Say, God, I don't understand your word. Help me to understand. I had to ask him, guys. And when I asked, when the word said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be opened unto you, that's the truth. When I asked, he just started opening doors. I started to find in this one, you all know I love YouTube. You look on YouTube, you find a sermon here, you find a this there. You know, you look, you go on Google, you see something in the Bible you don't know, you Google it. Google has the answers. Ask, guys, ask. Say, Holy Spirit, help me to understand your word. And he will answer you. He will show you the way for you to understand. So guys, that's it. I've rambled enough. Have a blessed morning, guys. Happy, happy morning. Happy morning. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. Stay in the word. And stay safe. Stay safe, guys. All right, guys. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. Ring your bell now. All right, guys, walk good. Bye-bye.